Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me for another Wednesday Wisdom video teaching. So if this is your first time tuning into me, one of my videos, my name is Steph Ventura, I'm a psychic soul alignment coach and what I do is I help spiritual entrepreneurs to do the very deep levels of healing necessary to powerfully align themselves with their souls and as a result of achieving this greater alignment with their souls, they're able to then have their greatest level of impact, influence, and income. So that is how I help people. The topic that I got asked by my guys today to speak on is all around how, you know, why spiritual entrepreneurs are needed now more than ever. Why it's really important for spiritual entrepreneurs to um, be more present than ever and to step into greater levels of their soul's purpose at this time than ever is because we're going through this process of ascension. And what we mean by ascension is that this is um, human spiritual evolution. This is spiritual evolution for us humans here on earth. So we are going back to our divine truth. We are reconnecting to the truth of who we are, meaning that we are connecting more to the truth of our higher selves, to the truth of creator, of source, of the universe, of God, which means that we are understanding that we are part of the all of everything, the one, um, that there is no real disconnection or separation, that we are unconditionally loved and supported, that we are um, unconditionally loving beings, accepting beings, and all the good things, okay? So we're going back to this divine truth. This is the process of ascension. We are shifting from our consciousness and shifting into lower levels of consciousness and going to higher and higher levels of consciousness to return back to the truth of who we truly are, to this um, source consciousness space, okay? Now, there are different levels of human consciousness. There's third dimensional, fourth dimensional, fifth dimensional, in which each of these, you have a greater understanding of who you truly are, how the universe works, where your role in all of that is, your connection with all of that is. And so what's happening is, is that we have been shifting over the last, whoever, however many years, from third dimensional consciousness, which is very fear-based, it's very scarcity-based, it is very much um, a dimensional reality in which there's a lot of separation, there is a lot of ego-driven things there, okay? It's where like all the bad stuff about our world exists, okay? The lower level stuff. And so this is third dimensional consciousness, fourth dimensional consciousness is more of like you're aware of those things, but you're more conscious in the sense of you have greater awareness and you're choosing not to feed so much into the ego, into the doubt, into the fear, the scarcity. You're choosing to reconnect more with your divine truth. And so you have a slightly easier time with existing in the world because you're more aware. You have certain levels of understanding and knowledge that help you to more easily move in the direction of your truth. But again, you can still sometimes get caught up in the fear-based things, right? Um, and then fifth dimensional consciousness is where you are more deeply connected to your truth. You're more deeply connected to love. You are in trust. You surrender easily. You're um, able to tap into greater levels of abundance. You have things going really well for your life because you're so much more connected to your divine truth. The more that you go up in these levels of consciousness, the closer you are to uh, the consciousness of God, of the universe, of what is. And you're able to then be more in flow with who you truly are, with the energy of all that is. And so that's why all of these good things in your life are able to flow. When you are not on these higher levels and you're disconnected from that, that's where the challenges come from, the struggles, the diseases, the difficult situations and things like that where you're getting triggered by it emotionally and physically. That's where all of that stuff resides. So the aim here is that we're on this process of spiritual evolution. We're ascending. We're going to these higher levels of consciousness and that's where we're at. That's the trajectory that we're on. We're on this path to moving on up, okay? Whether we want to or not, whether some people are aware of this truth or not, that is the direction that we're moving in. We are on this trajectory of returning to Christ consciousness or these higher levels of consciousness. Now, again, remember that the lower levels of consciousness are governed by fear, okay? And so what happens is, is that we're on this planet and there are many of us existing at different levels of consciousness on this planet. So there are people residing in third dimensional consciousness, some people in fourth, some people in fifth. Some of us are fluctuating between all of them, right? At different times, depending on what's coming up in our lives and so on. And so your experience of reality is going to be different from another person based on what level of consciousness you're each at, which means that 
even right now, as I'm speaking, there are many of you who are listening to this video teaching who are more of a fifth dimensional consciousness consciousness when it comes to the coronavirus right now. So you know that it is something that is existing. It is something that could potentially be threatening to your life, to your health. However, the level of consciousness at which you find yourself at at this time in regards to that doesn't um, is not causing fear inside of you. It's not causing overwhelm and anxiety inside of you because you're connected to your truth. And so you're chill, you're calm, and more than likely, it's not going to affect you because you're more connected to your truth and you have this higher vibration and it's not going to be a match for you. However, people at lower levels of consciousness, nothing wrong with that is part of your process. You might be having lots of fear come up for you and lots of doubt and uncertainty and worry and scarcity and things because of this whole situation. And that is because you are existing at a lower level consciousness where you're being triggered by what's happening and that's why you're experiencing these things. And so this goes to show you that you know, we're all existing in the same kind of world, but our experience of the world is completely different because we're at different levels of consciousness, okay? Because those of us that are at these higher levels are those of us that have been doing the inner work, that have been doing the healing, that have been connecting with our divine truth, that have been learning certain lessons, and we've been moving ourselves down in that path. And so that's why we're able to maintain a greater level of peace and calm and certainty of a positive outcome inside of ourselves because we're at these higher levels of consciousness, now, what happens is, is that going back to third and fourth dimensional consciousness is there's still a lot of ego based stuff there. There's still a lot of selfishness there because again, the ego's job is to preserve your well being is to keep you safe. So the ego is going to try to look after you or keep you from anything that it feels might be a potential threat to you. And so the people who are in third and fourth dimensional consciousness are the ones right now that are experiencing a lot of depression and anxiety, hopelessness, even suicide. And this doesn't just have to do with the coronavirus. This is like prior to the coronavirus, you've been, if you've been experiencing these things, you are at low, lower levels of consciousness and you need to do your necessary inner work to release that and raise your consciousness and vibration to shift out of those states. However, the reason that spiritual entrepreneurs are more important now than ever is because the because the vast majority of the people on this planet are very much still third and fourth dimensional in terms of their consciousness. And so even though in my circle and the people that I run with, most of us are fourth and fifth dimensional consciousness and we connect with each other. And so it might feel like there's a lot of us that are spiritually awakened and that are handling things with ease and grace. However, the vast majority of the planet is not on that level. We are a small fraction of the entire population. And so the greater population that is still very much lower level consciousness, that is still feeding into the fear and the uncertainty and the scarcity and the panic and the anxiety and all this other stuff, they, because they're in a larger number, a larger group, they are collectively feeling these intense emotions. They are, in a sense, powerfully influencing the collective consciousness of our planet, the collective energy of our planet. And so the people who were already experiencing depression and anxiety and hopelessness and suicide, that's being increased dramatically because of this intense energy that all these other groups of people are bringing behind that. Does that make sense? And so spiritual entrepreneurs are needed now more than ever because we are meant to be supporting these people who already have these extreme conditions or situations or states that they're going through to support them in moving through that and releasing that and healing that and whatever so that this really intense fear energy at this time doesn't impact them even further and drive them into even greater levels of depression and anxiety and um you know hopelessness and suicide okay this is why if you're a spiritual entrepreneur you really need to step it up especially if you're a healer you really need to step it up because there are people that seriously need your help they need your help because right now the collective is dramatically increasing these intense negative emotions that is then spiking the the issues that they already are dealing with right now. And so um, 
these people, especially why it's important for spiritual entrepreneurs to really step into their power and really start stepping into their soul's purposes is that the people who are deep in the fear, the worry, the panic about the future at this time, and they're building the energy around it because this is such a powerful collective energy because they form the majority. They're building up the energy to manifest um, de de undesirable things in the future. So they're creating all of this energetic momentum to manifest more things that we don't want. Okay, and more things that these people in their individual lives, they don't want to experience. Okay, so the people who are sitting there freaked out and panicked and worried and stuff, they're building up all that energy and they're potentially going to manifest losing their jobs, not having their jobs come back after this, you know, having sicknesses come out of nowhere and illnesses and being you know laid off and all these difficulties, not being able to pay their mortgage and becoming homeless and all of this other stuff like they're in the process of manifesting even greater challenges because they're so deep in the fear and the worry and the panic. So they're going to manifest this kind of stuff more than likely individually for themselves, but also for the greater whole, for the planet. And the reason that spiritual entrepreneurs are so super important at this time is because those of you, especially who are here to bring spiritual teachings and healing and all these other things, you need to help these people release the things inside of themselves to release that energy, to raise their consciousness so that they're not triggered so intensely or at all. And they're able to instead manifest more of what they want individually and more of what we want to consciously have collectively. What happens is, is that if these people who are still deeply traumatized they still have really deep negative beliefs fears and insecurities they have all of this stuff inside of themselves it's only natural in a sense or maybe not natural is the word but it's understandable it's understandable that if they still have all of this fear and anxiety and negative beliefs and trauma inside of themselves because nobody has helped them to release these things because there's not enough spiritual entrepreneurs out there sharing their truth, sharing their message, opening up these people's minds and lives to the tools and the information that will help them to release these things. They just have all of this intense energy inside of themselves. And so when situations like this happen in the world, it just triggers that automatically because it's like a knee jerk reaction. They can't help it. And so this is why spiritual entrepreneurs are needed more than ever, because we are here to help support people in releasing things that are keeping them out of alignment with who they truly are that are keeping them stuck to the trauma stuck to the limiting beliefs and fears stuck to lower level consciousness and to help them to rise above that to let that go to raise their vibration so that when these kinds of things happen in the world they don't have that immediate knee-jerk reaction or they're able to be empowered enough inside of themselves to do something about it and to shift into more of the state of consciousness or vibration um, thought patterns, etc., that they want to be in to help them navigate that more easily and to move forward. Okay. And so if we as spiritual entrepreneurs are not stepping up to a higher level and are being there for these people and are supporting them to gradually release these things, then it's just, they're just going to keep getting caught up in this pattern, in this loop of constantly being reactive in this way. Okay. We need to be there to help them gradually kind of take this stuff out, soothe that stuff move it out of the way so that they're not constantly being triggered okay and what happens is is that also if we continue to not show up in the way in which we're being called to at this time and we're not making the bigger level impact that we are being asked to make at this time and so as a result of that the majority of the population on the planet continues to remain in lower levels of consciousness and they continue to um stay in fear and worry and panic and anxiety and so on what happens is, is that again, they form the collective, the, like they influence the collective energy significantly, which means that this intense fear and anxiety and worry is going to naturally affect everyone on some level. It's going to naturally affect the world on some level. Even if you are at a higher level of consciousness most of the time, it's going to impact your energy. And I know this from experience because I generally 
am at a higher state of consciousness for most things. And this past weekend, I went through like a little mini dark night of the soul because I went into a supermarket and stuff already was affecting me. And then being in the supermarket with those people just wanting to buy groceries and, um, you know, to take care of their needs and look after themselves. And they were trying to overbuy things and like all that intensity <laughs> of the thing of the, the place affected me even further and temporarily like got me, you know, low and I had to like rebuild myself back up. Thank goodness I know how to build myself back up, but the majority of the people don't. And so they get stuck in this and they can't seem to get out. It's like coming into a, a riptide or something. Once the riptide gets a hold of you, like you better know how to get out of that or else you get sucked into it and you drown, right? And it's kind of like that the majority of the people don't know how to do that. And so that's why spiritual entrepreneurs are needed more than ever to help these people to learn how to break free from that and move forward because if the majority of the people continue to be in this energy, it's going to naturally affect those of us who are even at these higher levels of energy because we have to, you know, interact with these people. When we go to supermarkets or other public places where there's a large concentration of people, like we have to interact with them. If you are avoiding people, and you're choosing to be like, well, that's them. I'm going to leave it up to them. That's not my problem. Okay. First of all, number one, if you're doing this because you don't know how to manage your energy yet, and you don't know how to maintain a strong vibrational energy for yourself while being around these people, then that's okay. Do your thing. Because if you don't know yet how to remain strong in your energy while you're around these larger groups of people, then it's probably best for you and for everyone that you don't intermingle with these people who could potentially impact your energy. However, if you know how to manage your energy and you're just choosing to not be around these people because you're like, nope, I'm just gonna leave that up to them. I'm just gonna you know, avoid that. I don't wanna be around that energy and, and whatever else stuff you might be saying to yourself, you're not doing your part to help the collective. You're still being very much self-centered or selfish or you know third dimensional because that is the ego looking out for yourself saying nope i'm just gonna be good and i'll just let everyone just figure it out for themselves and that's not really doing light work if we're being honest and that's not a criticism that's not a judgment that is just an observation is what it is because it's the equivalent to you seeing someone's house on fire and you're just standing there just being like, well, I'll just let them try to put it out themselves instead of being part of that. If you have bucket and hose and stuff, like be a part of that help. And so when you are choosing to avoid these people and just being like, oh, that's their problem, not mine, don't wanna deal with that, don't wanna mess with that, then you're still very much just looking out for yourself and you don't really, you're not really extending um, support to other people, okay? Because maybe your energy being around those people, if you know how to have strong energetic boundaries, okay? Only if you know. If you don't know, then maybe you're better off, like I said, going off and avoiding as much contact, you know, or reducing the contact. But if you know how to maintain strong energetic boundaries, which I know there are quite a number of people in this group that do know how to do this, then you're able to hold it together while you're in these areas and maybe your energy is going to help support the energy of those people in some kind of way because you're holding a higher level of consciousness and frequency for those people and holding space for them to a certain extent with your presence and that's why it's really important okay now the reason like i said earlier that people have so much fear panic whatever it is is because they're disconnected from what who they truly are okay and that means that they don't really know and understand that it's not the government that provides for them or it's not the job necessarily that provides for them. It's God. It's the universe that provides for them. But if they were really connected to the truth that source, the universe provides for me, and because I know source or God or the universe provides for me, even though I'm temporarily out of work for the next two weeks or however long, like I'm not stressing out about that because I know the universe will provide and I'm good. 
and it's okay. And my, my rent will still be paid and my kids will still be fed and we will still be able to, you know, have our needs met and so on and so forth because people are not connected to this truth and there's still very lower dimensional consciousness where they're like, oh my God, I have to do it. And if I'm not working, then how am I going to get the money? And how am I going to be able to provide it? How am I going to do this? And how am I going to do that? They're not connected to their truth. So because people are not connected to their truth, they're freaking out because they feel like it's all up to them. They have to figure it out. They have to find a way, all this other stuff. And, you know, they're depending on employers and the employers aren't able to provide for them or the government's not providing for them or whatever it is. Right. So that's why they're in this panic and this worry. Now, the reason that light workers, spiritual entrepreneurs are super important right now is because you are here to help people remember who they truly are. You are here to help people remember their divine truth so that they don't lose their marbles when these kinds of situations happen, okay? What my guides wanted me to specifically say is that some of you are here to be healers, and by being healers, you are here to help people release the dense energy that they have inside of themselves, okay? Some of you are here to be spiritual teachers, which means you're helping people to remember and integrate divine spiritual truths. Some of you here are some kind of empowerers, which you give people tools and techniques to help manage their emotions, to help manage their fears, their limiting beliefs, the things that are coming up for them. Some of you here are community builders or movement creators, okay, which means you're supposed to bring people together in some kind of way and to um, form positive initiatives in some kind of way through your work. And some of you here are innovators. So you are here to bring new ways of doing things as a light worker, as a spiritual entrepreneur. And many of you are a combination of some of these things or all of these things. But your role right now at this time is super important because again, these people who are driven by fear, they need healers to help them release the energy stuff, the emotions, that are being triggered by the situation right now so that they're not stuck in the fear. That's where the healers come in. These people who are driven or overpowered by fear right now, they need spiritual teachers to help them to really remember that they don't need to be so afraid or scared. They need to remember who they truly are by remembering these spiritual truths. That's where the spiritual teachers are super important. The people who are empowerers, who are here teaching people tools and techniques, you're super important because, again, by you giving people this information around what they can do, they're able to self-soothe or um, manage things on their own or to release things, okay? So that they don't continue to get trapped in negativity and they're able to move forward. You know, people who are here to build communities, who are here to innovate, you're super important because you are ushering in a new wave of living and existing at this time. This is what I am talking about a lot this week on my Instagram um, account. So follow me on Instagram as Stefan Tura Coaching because I am sharing very powerful messages this week around how spiritual entrepreneurs really need to step into their purposes and create their impacts. It is absolutely necessary. And I have, I have been receiving some very stern messages from the universe or from my guides around this because you can't continue to delay. You have an important role in all of this. Every single person is truly, truly important um, at this time because spiritual entrepreneurs, in a sense, are like the people who are in the front lines of some kind of, I don't know, battle or something, okay? That's what I got specifically, what they kind of channeled for me is like the front lines where you are helping people to support them in the best possible way with addressing the, the fear and the panic and the situations that are showing up at this time. Everyone plays a vital role in this. Everyone is super important and it's time for all of you right now to use all that you know, all that you have learned, all that you have been through to, and start sharing your knowledge and wisdom with other people so that these people can remain grounded instead of being all up in the chaotic emotions. They can be grounded and centered and they can connect to their truth. And as they do this, 
it will be easier for all of us to collectively move in the direction that we on a conscious level desire to move down together okay this is also super important because this whole coronavirus thing has completely disrupted our way of living for most people in the world most parts of the world i know right now in peru where i'm at we are on quarantine as a country and starting tomorrow we have this curfew thing where nobody is allowed out of the house after 8 p.m at night until like five something in the morning the next day or something like that um every night everyone needs to be at home after out after the dark after dark so um it's completely disrupted things and we're only allowed to go out at this time if we really need to get food or we need to go seek medical attention or maybe go to the bank or something but other than that it we are on lockdown basically and it's this is common for a lot of places in the world and so this is not the first wave of change that we are going to experience in our world at this time we are now in the age of aquarius if you listened to my weekly energy reading for this week these are weekly energy readings that i do every monday on my facebook business page link to my facebook business page is in the description of this video if you're watching on youtube and what they specifically had me mention in the weekly energy reading for this week was the age of aquarius and stepping into a new age and i wasn't expecting myself to say that because that's very like astrology ish for me and i'm not into astrology yet though even though they've been bringing it to me lately but we are now in a new age and we have entered a new age and this coronavirus stuff that is disrupting how we live our lives and how we conduct our um, businesses and things like that because there are many people right now who have physical jobs that they can't go to right now because they can't go to work because their cities or countries or whatever are on lockdown and so this is making a lot of people rethink how do i earn a living now how do i bring in an income right how do i educate my children if they can't go to school right now like it's completely changing things up and there are going to be more changes coming in moving forward and with each change that comes in the normal people in 3d 4d consciousness are quite often going to freak out because as humans we quite often resist change we're not comfortable with it we even though we want differently on a conscious level we want a different life we want things to be better but quite often when it comes to moving in a different direction the old ways have to be dismantled the old ways have to be brought down and when those start coming down all of a sudden there's an upheaval and there's fear and there's panic and there's worry and there's stress and there's anxiety and all this other stuff and so these waves are going to keep coming in waves of change are going to keep coming in and if we want to support the planet and the people on it to the best of our ability then as spiritual entrepreneurs it's our responsibility to really step up and to fulfill our soul's purpose to step into our soul's purpose to bring forward these things that our souls are asking us to do so that we can start impacting the people that we are supposed to be impacting with this work with these teachings with this knowledge with these tools this wisdom so that they can handle these changes with so much more ease and grace moving forward so that they don't continue to get stuck in the panic the anxiety the worry and they're able to connect back to their truth to be grounded and centered and they're able to have an easier time integrating the changes so this is why spiritual entrepreneurs are super important in this moment and the more people that we help awaken collectively because we are stepping into our purposes on a greater level the more that we help reach these greater numbers of people that are disconnected from their truth they will start raising their vibration their consciousness they will be able to hold a more powerful energy to better support other people around them who are still at these lower levels it's like it's a ripple effect a domino effect kind of thing we all benefit uh, if we all collectively do our part does that make sense and so this intense fear and anxiety and worry will lessen and lessen and lessen and we will feel less impacted because we're all doing our part to support one another and so spiritual entrepreneurs we really need to lead the the battle or whatever it is powerfully we really need to be on those front lines and start 
providing that, you know, first aid kind of thing, situation or support, where we're there providing that first aid to the, the rest of the population in the form of sharing our teachings, sharing our tools, sharing the information, the experience, the things that we're feeling called to do at this time by our soul's purpose. And so this is why it's really important at this time for spiritual entrepreneurs to really make a bigger impact, to choose to step into higher levels of what they're being asked to do um, at this time. So if you've been questioning whether or not you're meant to be having success with your spiritual business, you need to stop questioning. Stop questioning. Stop doubting whether you're going to be successful or not. You're supposed to be successful because you're supposed to be forming part of this change right here, right now. So you need to do your part to overcome your ego stuff, to overcome your doubt and your fear and your worry and whatever it is. And you need to step it up and really try to embrace more of who you truly are and just recognize that you are a powerful leader, that you're here to be part of this powerful movement, this change, these shifts, to bring in this new wave of um, being, of existing, of living, which by the way, my Friday teaching on YouTube is going to be all around how the coronavirus is ushering in a new age. That's what the title that my guides gave me. So if you're watching on YouTube, I'm sure there will be something up here that you can click on to go to that video when that's up. But um, you are meant to be doing this. So it's time you let go of the insecurities and the doubts and the feelings of I'm not worthy enough or I'm not good enough yet or I can't do this or whatever. Like you need to drop that and start just sharing your truth, sh showing up powerfully, providing, you know, your assistance by just sharing what you know. Whatever it is, just get out there and start taking action. Stop holding back. Stop questioning. You are part of this point in time right now for a reason it is not a coincidence you are here right now to help be a part of this shift so own that and start bringing forward what you need to be bringing forward and if you have been because i know that there are some people who will be watching this video who have been and maybe you don't realize this but you're not stepping into your soul's purpose more powerfully. You've been doing business in a certain way where you've incorporated some spirituality, some things. It's like a superficial level of your work. And you need to make a bigger impact. You need to really incorporate your spirituality on a much higher level in the work that you do because it's super important. And this is depending on who you are and what your business is about. But you are here to form part of the shift. And so you need to step into a higher level of your soul's purpose. So just because you've been running your business a certain way, you've been getting certain results and that's been okay. It's like you've been cruising along, getting okay results. Um, not too shabby. You're doing just fine, just enough or whatever. Um, no, you need to really, you know, take that up a notch and create a bigger impact and step into your purpose on a higher level and incorporate spirituality more deeply into your work to be more forthcoming with it um, and share it more powerfully. And it's really interesting because what's been coming up for me lately with some of the posts that I've been writing, that I've been channeling and things like that, is like more of these deeper esoteric type of things talking about ascension and evolution and um, me channeling now my weekly energy readings like just through my guides right away. My guides will be like, it's really funny because they, they talk about like your planet and your world and humans and this is the language that comes through me sometimes and I'm like, oh my God, like I sound so weird because <laughs> now I'm sounding really out there. Um, but whatever, like this is part of my soul's purpose, me stepping into that on a higher level, letting go of maybe any potential insecurities or doubts or fears around, oh my God, what are people going to think now that I'm talking this way or now that I'm channeling this way or whatever it is being weird, whatever, like I'm just more of me and I'm just bringing these messages forward and I don't care if sometimes I got to share really out there messages in spaces where those kinds of things aren't usually shared. I'm just going to do my thing and make my impact and whoever's supposed to receive it will receive it, that kind of stuff. So this is really important for you, everyone to really stop holding back in any way that they have and to really step more powerfully into their soul's purpose because you are here to make this bigger impact, to be part of this wave of this shift. Thank you, Kay. So this is why it's really important because that's what I realized as well um, because of my past experience this past weekend with like the energy affecting me and stuff was I thought to myself, oh my God, thank goodness 
that I am psychic. Thank goodness that I know how to heal myself, that I know how to do this energy work because I was able to shift out of that pretty quickly. And I just had so much love and compassion for normal people that don't have any awareness or knowledge of these things because it's really hard for them. It was hard for me to shift out of that. It was so intense. And that's also part of the reason why when I was in the supermarket initially um, on Friday night and this energy started affecting me um, and I, these, I felt like the people's energy were, was impacting me and I tried to put up um, certain barriers to keep their energy out and it wasn't working initially at the level at which it normally does. And it was because my guides wanted me to see like this is what normal people are dealing with. Normal people are literally vulnerable to what is happening right now. They cannot help it. They don't know how to keep themselves safe energetically. So they're being impacted and it's sending those people that are already vulnerable, that are already in stress and anxiety and fear and depression and those things, it's sending them down a deeper spiral. Like today or yesterday, I don't know when it was, on YouTube, I was interacting with this one person and we were exchanging comments and that person was seeking support. So I just felt pulled to support them. And basically, long story short there, they were, they told me that they were feeling very suicidal right now, super suicidal, because this energy is totally overpowering them. They're empathic, especially people, there's a lot of empaths right now who don't know how to manage their energy, who don't know how to do um, deeper healing work to not be so easily influenced by energy and so on. And this person like literally shared with me that they were suicidal and they were seeking help. And long story short, I gave them the options of what they could do to manage their energy. I gave them some support. One of the things that I suggested was, hey, if you feel ready for it, do some shadow work. And it might not be comfortable in the beginning, but it's totally gonna pay off in the end. And they decided to step into that even though they were afraid a bit, but they did it on their level of at which they could do it, at which they were able to given with what they know and it helped them it helped them and they immediately saw a dramatic shift in their energy and they thanked me and they were like oh my god thank goodness for you like where would i be without you if you hadn't helped me through this right and that's why we need to be out there more than ever with our work with our teachings with our wisdom with our knowledge because there are people that don't know how to navigate what is showing up for them at this time and we need to be there leading the way leading you know being on the front lines showing them, you know, to not be afraid that they have the tools, they have the power inside of themselves to be able to handle these changing times that we are stepping into, right? And that's why spiritual entrepreneurs are so super important at this time. So please do your best to step into your purpose on a greater level. If you've been feeling the call, to do your to step into your purpose on a greater level if you've been feeling pulled to completely change things in your business or completely switch directions in your business you need to do that it is super important because that is your soul trying to guide you and lead you down the path that you are meant to be on to fulfill your soul's purpose and to do your part to create this impact recently with this month that i've been channeling for several people there have been quite a number of people that i have had to tell them this is what you're actually supposed to be doing. You're not supposed to be doing what you've been doing this whole time or what you think you've been having to do this whole time. You're supposed to be going in this completely different direction to fulfill your soul's purpose and to have your greater, greatest level of success, influence, and impact. That's what you're supposed to be doing. So if this is you, if you've been feeling pulled to go in a completely different direction or with your business or to change things up in your business dramatically, that is a calling from your soul to shift things so that they're in alignment with what your soul wants you to bring at this time so you're able to make this impact and form part of this shift for those of you that have been feeling um you know resisting stepping into your purpose doubting whether this is your path or you're gonna have success and all this other stuff it's time for you to drop that it's time for you to really do the necessary inner work to become strong in yourself to choose to align yourself with your truth to really embrace your leadership role and know that you were born for this there is not a question of whether or not you're supposed to be successful around this. You are going to be successful around this. You just need to wrap your head around that and to really own that and start showing up powerfully, sharing your truths, getting your message out there, doing your thing because there are people waiting out there for you specifically. You're meant to have, you know, a specific important role in all of this as well. And so we're all here. We all have different callings. 
Some of us, again, are spiritual teachers, are healers, are community builders, are innovators, are um, movement creators, are all these different things, or a combination of these things, right? But we all have different roles in all of this. We're all here to help prepare the people on many different levels to have an easier time with the times that we are stepping into now with all of these transitions. So it's really important for everyone to really recognize that your unique role is important and that you are there to fulfill that, to do your part to help these people, okay, get to where they need to get to in terms of their spiritual evolution, um, personal development, that kind of stuff, right? If this interests you, if you're ready to create your impact, you're ready to do your part to make a difference, I invite you to come and join me in my program, Soul Aligned Impact, which starts on Monday. We're gonna kick off the program on Saturday, the 21st. And this is an eight week program that is really for those of you who truly feel called to be powerful leaders this year. And you really feel like it's time to make an impact. It's time to drop the stories, the insecurities, the doubts. It's time to really get your business into alignment and to really have the greatest level of influence that you're meant to be having. This is for you. This is what this program is about. It's a very intense um, eight week program to really help you to drop a lot of insecurities, limited beliefs, stories, doubts around your ability to be this powerful leader that you're being asked to become at this time, to own at this time. So that's what we're gonna be doing for eight weeks. First part of the program is to really help you to do a lot of inner alignment work, letting go of a lot of things that keep you from really owning your place in the world as a powerful leader and change maker. And it's just a lot of inner work, which is super necessary. And it's very specific to spiritual entrepreneurs. This is not like any typical business coaching mindset type of program or healing program that you may have um, had in the past. This is specifically for spiritual entrepreneurs who feel called to bring in new modalities, new levels of consciousness, new levels of healing, and so on. So this is specifically for these people to address the specific limiting beliefs and fears and insecurities and doubts that come up for you when it comes to doing this kind of work that we're going to address. And that's what I'm going to be supporting you with. And then the second half of the program is very much geared towards helping you to align powerfully with your soul, with what your soul desires, with the marketing strategies that are aligned for you and your soul specifically at this time, the places where you're meant to be at, um, to help you to um, create a business that's really aligned with your soul at this time. So I will be channeling and stuff to make sure that what you're doing at this time is truly in alignment with what your soul is wanting to bring forward and that you're not wasting your time. There's never any time wasted, but wasting your time doing things that you're not supposed to be doing right now. Um, so really fast tracking you to success to be able to um, help you to create a soul aligned business so that you're able to really have the greatest level of impact, influence and income. And you're able to see dramatic shifts in your business at this time. So this is what the program is about. It's eight weeks long. There's going to be one teaching per week. There's going to be in the middle of the week, a business thread ch challenge thread is what they told me so that's where we're going to be even though the first part of the program is very much heavily focused on personal development and stuff we're going to be using that midweek thread thing to help you to start making traction with your business to help you to start rebranding yourself if you need to or like shifting the focus of what your business is about so that people start getting comfortable with the new direction that you're taking your business in and um, certain challenges that they might ask me to do to help you to really start stepping more powerfully into the soul's work. So that's going to be something I channel week after week specific to the group. And then on Saturdays, on once a week, we're going to have Q&A where I'm going to specifically either channel for you, bring forward messages that my guys asked me to bring to help you. And so you're going to be supported in a private Facebook group throughout the eight weeks and have my support week after week with all of this other stuff so that you're able to really come into alignment and really own who you are, own your power. You're ready now. You're ready to make that impact now. You're ready to help transform lives now. You're ready to receive the in abundance that you desire now. You just need to really shift internally a lot and really see yourself as that person that's ready right now and has those things now. And that's what we're gonna do for the first part of this program is take you down that process so that then we can shift you into once you are in this more empowered identity, once you're in your leadership identity, then you're able to then from that space 
take powerful soul aligned actions in regards to your marketing in regards to your soul aligned offers making sure your offers are in alignment with what you're doing with what your soul is asking you to bring forward at this time helping you to release any resistance around your ability to succeed with those things because i'm going to be teaching around manifesting and what it really takes to manifest and bring forward the soul's work. And so that is what we're going to be doing. So if this interests you, reach out to me, ask me for more information. Um, there are posts here. There's flexible payment plans. And um, if this is speaking to you at this time, let me know. I'm happy to answer any questions that you may have. I really hope to see you there because this is really what is needed right now. So the faster you step into your soul's purpose and you start making your impact, the faster your business will grow the faster your income will grow and the faster you will be on your way to creating your dream life and impact. So if you're ready to do that, you're ready to go on this journey with me, ask me about soul aligned impact and I'm happy to answer your questions. Okay. Anyway, I send you all so much love. Thank you so much for your time. I really hope that this has helped you and I will see you in the next video teaching. Bye.